Okay, so this is um, a recording that I'd like to do of my first video that I'd like to show you. And I want to show you about some of um, the tools that you have at your disposal, um, even if you're just at the pro level. Um, so I'm going to click here and I may end up having to sign back in because it's been a while since I've been um, on this. Um, you'll notice that you have live training. Yeah, I'm going to have to. There we go. Okay. So now what you're going to see is um, I'm going to go ahead and click back on into the pro. And you're going to see that I have... Um, you know, live training, all the modules, all that kind of thing. And I really want you to take a look at this because the pro models basically that I'm trying to show you right now, um, you want to go, the tools that we're going to be talking about today are here on the modules 16 through 19. Um, go ahead and click on that. And this is all in your back DSD back office. And you just go ahead and scan down all the way to the bottom. And that's when you're going to notice all of these tools. And these tools are going to help you tremendously. Now I'm going to do a video on each one of these and how they will work for you and how they're going to help you with your listing, with your titles keeping track of your sales and your profit margins um, but today I'm going to start with the most basic of the basic and it's basically the picture maker you know it's the one that's gonna help you with your pictures because a lot of people don't use this because they think it don't work but really it does and it does a few things for you number one you know, there's been a lot of people that are getting flagged and suspended and in trouble with eBay because they're copying other people's photos. And eBay is really cracking down on this. And I can't stress enough, if you really want this business to work, you know, you need to really utilize these tools that Roger offers us because there's a rhyme and a reason for every one of these tools. And the whole purpose of this scrambler picture cropper thing that he's got going on here is because in general if you copy a picture it's still going to link that picture to wherever that picture originated from so it originated let's say you live in Washington State but the picture originates from Florida from somebody's computer in Florida no matter how many times you rename it no matter what you do in that capacity it's still going to reflect the original place where the photo came from. In other words, they can track that photo to, and they, can, they know it's their photo. With using this scrambler tool, it makes it so they can't do that. It makes it so this fo your photo originates from your computer. That way there's no discrepancy and they're not going to accuse you of plagiarism in a sense you know of using somebody else's photo so I really highly encourage you to utilize this tool now what I wanted to show you is how to use this because it doesn't do you any good to just know about it you need to know how to use it and so one of the first things that you want to do is you come down here to the very bottom and you're going to notice upload image choose a file so you're going to want to click on that so these are past things that I've listed and everything. So I'm just going to click on this. And you'll notice that right here it has the small JPG. That's really important because I don't care how hard I try. If it's in capital, for whatever reason, this software won't even acknowledge it. So make sure, even if you have to use like... Um, a photo converter or something like that to make it so it's lowercase by all means just renaming it doesn't help it you've got to actually convert it so if it comes in the lowercase this is going to help you so 
we're doing this right here. Don't pay any attention to this stuff right here. That's, you're taken away from your picture. The main event is your item. So you don't want your name or your username for eBay anywhere on this. Just click submit. And then you're going to want to scroll back down and you're going to see it. So you just click on this. And I always put it from edge to edge. As you can see. Now you see this crop button right here? Go ahead and click on that. Scrolling down, there's the picture. You don't need to worry about this squishy one. That one won't do you any good for any reason that I have found. Other than if you want to be, you know, weird and show a squishy picture. So here's this and you copy it. And I always save it right to where I had the original picture. That way it's named whatever I named it. Of course it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, you do. And there you go. It'll, you'll notice here it's been saved. And now you have that photo and it's been scrambled. So it's at your disposal and nobody can accuse you of stealing those pictures. That's really important information. I hope this video has helped you, give you an idea of how to use this tool. It's a very good tool. If you want to do another picture, you just remember, just go to Choose File. Click on the picture that you want to scramble. You'll see all that. Click Submit. And then you just scroll down and you're just going to hold down the left hand button and drag it and then release. And then you scroll down just a little bit and you'll see the crop button and you click on that and you'll notice your photo appears here and then all you have to do is put your cursor on it, right click it save to image click on the same image that you have and then click save which will bring up this window and yes you do want to override it and again it'll show um, you know as soon as I can grab a hold of the screen here um, it'll show here in the lower left hand corner that it has been saved and you should be good to go and then you're going to be able to go onto your eBay listing and post that picture and it'll be at the proper 500 by 100 uh, pixels that eBay requires and you'll be good to go. So I hope this video helped and I'll see you on the next video.